I, I think there was the unknown, and, and there, there's always an element of danger, and there is an, that unknown element of danger. And I think this would be true of, of anyone who's serving, be it in the military, in police, in, in fire, in, in any of those service professions. So I think for her, there was that fear of the unknown. I, another thing that I think was initially difficult for my wife was that I was doing some cool things. I mean, I'd, I had a $15,000 Rolex watch. I'm driving a Porsche. I'm dining in Beverly Hills. I'm hanging out with the bold and the beautiful, you know, the, 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 high, the highlight. Um, and yet she was at home changing diapers, cooking, uh, doing housework where she didn't feel that she could compete with the excitement that I was having. And I didn't want that competition. I mean, when I came home, I wanted to compartmentalize my life and leave the mask in the garage and come in and be the husband and be the father. So it, it took us a while to work through that. that, that I, I, I didn't need for her life to be exciting because I had that excitement and I just needed her to, to be there, to be my wife, my friend, my lover, uh, the mother to my children. And that was, that was more important to me than the excitement. So once we got that across, I think it, it made for our marriage better. Now we had issues and uh, I, I put a, we put a, a prostitute in the witness protection program and I actually took her to the 4th of July church picnic. Uh, so I had my, my wife and two children and the prostitute and her son at the church picnic before she actually went into the witness protection program and you know it took a while before my wife was real comfortable with that situation but we got over it.